right. So I've been noticing a couple of things lately. And I know I really don't know where uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. But it's it's funny because you always hear people saying, you know, that history repeats itself. And this <laughs> right now that has never been much uh, much more true than right now. I mean Alright, here here's what I've noticed. And there are many things, but you know, this is like a, a very, very uh, abstracted view. It's, there's not a lot of details in what I uh, understand, but I'm, you know, I'm slowly learning. But from what I've been told, one of the main factors leading to the so-called Holocaust was that um, you know the Germans were fed up, the Jews were flooding in, they were taking over the media, you know, they were controlling wealth. They were, you know, dismantling their economy, and the Germans were, uh, were fed up. And then this, you know, knight in shiny armor came and, um, you know, solved their issues. He uh, he boosted the national morale. I don't know what you would call that, but he definitely, you know, boosted them. And I, I think they all respected him. Uh, I'm not too sure. But it seems that everyone respected what uh, what uh, you know was becoming, and then they, you know they went and they did the the Jew purge. You know they tried to get rid of all the Jews from their country, and there are a lot of things I don't respect about um, you know the Nazi campaign, but there were some things I do respect. And that was their focus on nationalism. And their focus that, um, you know, their identity was, you know, it was very important. And the national identity and, you know, those lines are blurring right now. I don't know if I support it or if I don't support it because my, my views on it are, you know, they're, they're growing, they're evolving. And I can't be called anything, you know, even south of an expert or anything like that. So I don't really understand a whole lot of what's uh, going on, what's, uh, you know, what's happening. But all I can say is that if you look at the, the world, of, well, not the world, but the American government and, you know, power, how it is right now, you'll notice that. Jews control most of the media. They control a lot of political uh, pol political space, and they do control the top banks and uh, you know the huge mega corporations. They they have control of a lot of our power. You know they've consolidated the wealth, and I don't know if it's some kind of national pride that they have. Is it an innate ability, or is it just that they're They've somehow managed to get through our defenses and to take over. And I don't want to sound racist because I definitely have nothing against the people. The thing I have a problem with is the ideology, you know, what they believe in. It's, I don't know. It's a very complex uh, topic. And my views, again, are ever evolving. And it doesn't really help that I get my news from Alex Jones, but um, I don't know. I just felt compelled to make a, a blog post about you know how the, the parallels between uh, between Germany and what's happening right now, and what will happen in the not too distant future. Because I don't think it's gonna get. Uh, I don't think it's gonna get. Uh, become more peaceful anytime soon.